All right, here we go. Everything I think is set up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the room. We are starting to hype up the room VR when that comes out in just four days time. My name is Alshon94 and welcome to my first live stream on Mixer. Without further ado, let's get into the room. This is the room on PC with the advanced graphics. This is going to be a little bit of like a speed run. I have played this game before, just want to test out the waters with Mixer. So without further ado, we're going to kick off into the tutorial. So we're going to click and drag the mouse around to have a look around the box. So we've got uh, bespoke safes for the gentry, guaranteed thief and fireproof. Uh, nice reference there to fireproof games who made this game. So we're going to double click on the envelope on top of the safe to focus on it. And we're going to slide out the letter of the envelope. You came. I knew, I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one passing favour. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Okay, so we're going to uh, get the key by the looks of things. A small brass key with an animal motif. Okay, we're going to rotate this lid around, drag it over the keyhole, turn the key, up we go. Okay, so we've now got an eyepiece, which is a curious eyepiece, with it a note. Uh, we are going to click the eyepiece icon to wear first. So nothing's really, so it doesn't do anything, perhaps something's missing. What does the note say? Feed me and I shall survive. Give me drink and I shall die. Okay, so it's a riddle. The solution must be somewhere on this box. So you'll find the answer somewhere on the safe. I have played this game before, as I said. It is going to be fire. Fire, wood feeds it, but water puts it out. I guess I should give it a push. Okay. We get a peculiar old key. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. Okay. Uh, so we can rotate this key around now. Okay, so it looks like I can turn the uh, end to make the key into a different shape. Okay, and that's where the tutorial ends. We are now going to be just exploring the box. So there's one slot here for it to go into and one more slot over here. Now the end of the key looks like a, a rectangle with a nodule underneath it. Let's turn it around in there. And we get given just some uh, golden circles, so we'll just put the key into the other slot, and we'll rotate the key around. In you go. And now we have an ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. Okay, so... We can now, I believe, uh, just go onto here. So here we go, so bespoke... Bespoke safes for the gentry, Guildford, England, of the world-renowned Talisman, established in 1807, guaranteed thief and fireproof. We're going to turn this round and obtain the missing lens. It looks like it would fit in the eyepiece. And there we go. This is our first look of what the room truly looks like in the eyes or in the lens of, uh, of what we're wearing. And I think now the golden circles do reveal that there is a now a ornate pattern. We're going to turn all of this around. And the safe opens up. We're going to open it up. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, let's take it out for a closer look. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress. But do you really think you've proven yourself yet? going to continue the game we're going to go straight in to the next chapter
Okay, so now we have uh, three seals. These three seals stand between you, me and the contents of this box. Okay then. So we're going to be turning around this box. So you can see first we've got uh, five letters currently spelling cowl and a missing letter inside there. Okay, we've got another seal there. And we've got these four icons, or this these four slots here, with one of the slots being uh, that icon at the top there. So what we're going to do is marry that up first. Lovely. We're going to keep going around the box so we can see what's going on. We've got a golden star there at the top, and we've got this other seal down here. Now initially you can see that this panel here has got a weird colouring to it which means that the eyepiece can be used. Let's use that eyepiece. And we can see the numbers 2 and 7 straight away. So let's put the numbers 2 and 7 into their respective slots. And then we have the numbers 5 and the number 6 is that? Yes, number 6. So 5 and 6. That then reveals the next switch that we can pull and out comes another piece of equipment. Now as we're going to be playing through this game I'm going to be trying my utmost to try and find all the letters that appear in the game so we get a proper look into this game. Here we go. February 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments I can barely read anything at all. But there is something there. Between earth and fire, between water and air, I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element. Null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold. It is the pursuit of this. So we're going to be tracking down this null element as we progress through the game. Now down here we've got this little lever here and we need a key going into that. So that is all fine for now. Um, with this box though, you'll notice that some of the box doesn't seem or marry up like the others. As you can see this icon or th this part of the box here doesn't marry up and we can actually reveal a miniature telescope. Now there's another panel on this box down here which has got the exact same markings and it's a short piece of cotton. It smells of paraffin. Now that paraffin smelling bit of cotton goes into there. Light the fire within. Flick the switch up. And now the machine is starting to potentially come a little bit close to showing a picture. And we have got this miniature telescope which we can enlarge just like that and that then feeds itself into the slot there however we're not going to be able to see anything just yet because the machine isn't actually turning so what else can we spot on this box well we've got this icon at the top left here so we're going to put that into the place where we started off putting in our symbols originally which is there going to go back around to this panel here and I think yes you can just see there in the bottom left corner another symbol so we're going to whack that into the box next uh, that was bottom left wasn't it and that was that symbol there I think just double check that yep I think that's right now the last thing about this game if you are ever stuck is if you use the lens it will normally guide you there'll be something like some weird marking on the box somewhere like on this column here. When you click on the column, we reveal a book and the last uh, icon there to select. So we are just going to enter that in into the top right hand corner and out comes a heavy cast iron key. I think that's it for now. We're going to go into the box, uncover this small puzzle There we go. And again, we have the key, and we also have a repeat of the page that originally we read out. It's one of seven, so we are not uh, missing anything at the moment. 
So let's put the key into there. Okay. That's now showing a picture. Let's have a look inside. Okay, so at the minute, a guy wearing a top hat. I get the feeling there's more than what I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? Let's try it with the eyepiece. The box is spinning and we now have the word trial emblazoned in blue. Trial? Question mark. We have another set of golden circles. What we're going to do is just marry up the picture within. And the letter L pops out. Okay, so then we're going to pop that letter L inside there. And we're going to form the word trial. The machine goes back inside the box. And we've just unlocked the first of three seals. Two more to go. Out comes the next box. Let's have a little look around. So we've got another letter here from a S. May 8th. McAllister returns with the rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibetans call the non-element space. To the Hindus, it is ether. And now to the Babylonians, it is simply up. The other direction. The realm of Ishtar. Of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glyph. The same symbol, repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries and the span of the globe. Who will tell me now that this is the superstition at work? When my hands ha hold the first distilled sample, they will recognise me then. Presently, the sceptics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. And that was number two of seven. So let's continue on with the game. Now, we're going to flick the switch here. And just oh, just gonna adjust the camera angles so we light up the world like nobody else. Oh, there we go. So that's all four gems lit up. We can see this funny glow again here. So let's just dive in, marry up the symbols together. And we can now put in our cast iron key, turn it 90 degrees. And now we have a small cabinet key. Now the small cabinet key is going to go into the front of this cabinet right here. An enameled brass star. Okay, cool. Uh, now that star, I think, goes on the top of the box as we saw earlier on. So let's put that in there. And we have another letter from AS. June 21st now. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regain consciousness, I have succeeded. The non-element is beyond curious, being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. So he's getting ever closer to just to getting this null element cracked. Now around the box we have these knights. We have one holding an axe, one holding a mace. We've got a brass ring now which we can add to that. And we've got one with a sword. And we've got a golden knight with nothing in it at all and it looks like a blue gemstone. So first let's go and put this brass ring on here. One, two, and we didn't get that pattern right. There we go. That's right now. So we now need to know what numbers we're going to be putting in. So can I do it this way? So we've got uh, two and three. And what's on the top? Uh, top one is five. So two and five. Two... 
five. There we go. Out comes a large, oddly shaped key. That is lovely jabbly. Um, what you also can do in this game is if you put the key over the lock without doing anything to it, you then get a blue silhouette of what the key should look like. Uh, so we're just going to adjust the key now. So that is not quite right. Put that round the other way. So that's correct. And that's correct there. Let's chuck the key into there. Turn it round. Absolutely lovely. So now we get a circular plate with a star emblem. Uh, that is going to belong on this panel here, I believe. So the second seal is now open, just one more to go. Okay. Excellent. So we've got non estad astra molis a Teres V in, I think that's Latin, I think. Uh, we've got another wind mechanism over here, so let's see if we can make anything turn. Of which we can. And now the box transforms. And it's put our camera angle here, so we can turn this symbol here and it reveals, or it starts to turn the other cog on the drawer. So we're going to go around now the box and try and marry up all of those symbols together. So the square is going to go into that position there. We're looking for a triangle and a hexagon now. So that one is going to go 90 degrees this way. And this triangle is going to go upright like that. We then pull out the drawer and we get an elastic band and a large cog. Okay, so let's do this large cog first rotate this round and it reveals a small screwdriver okay so that screwdriver must belong on this panel here let's remove the four screws there's two there's three and there's four we're going to press the button and a peculiar folding key comes out um, now that peculiar folding key goes over here. And again, I'm not going to do anything else to it. It's the wrong shape, of course, but we're going to put all our options out on the table. Uh, so that one goes at the top. I think that goes that way. That goes up there. That comes round. That's down. So when we now put that key back in, out it comes. Now we get a medium sized cog, so we're going to put that into the machine and see if we can turn any more cogs. And that's basically saying that we can take the cog out if we need to essentially. We then get another medium sized cog. Let's try and make this last one turn and last band around it I think, yep. Okay, we're going to press the button and see what we get next. Here we go. Okay, so we get a long, narrow steel tube. So we get a small kind of key and we get an old photograph. Uh, so we need to find out where the key goes and I think it goes in this little cabinet here. Out it comes. Okay, uh, let's marry up this symbol over here. Uh, that's fine. That's going to come down. That's going to go across. There we go. Self align. And we now get a shield. Um, which now, I believe, the knight can now take control of. We now get an oval gemstone as well. Uh, so that gemstone is going to fit inside here. Okay. Uh, what is the... The photograph says Rev 5 past 6. So with that now in place, have I got to put my lens on? I do. So we're now going to put this round to 5 past 6. 
Okay. I think now that is chapter two complete. Okay, chapter complete, pleasing progress, but do you really think you've proven yourself yet? So you can see here we've got this next little box, this is why I love this game so much. Everything has been done so intricately, and Fireproof Games basically remade all the assets from scratch just for PC, and this is why it looks so unbelievable. Um, now, we can look around the box, and I think the best starting point again here is just to put the lens on and see where our eye takes ourselves. So we can see here um, that little switch there was in plain sight. We have a box with some kind of puzzle on top and another letter. July 15th. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I am increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it, but I am fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. We now have this box here, which we have to guide a ball bearing uh, down. So I think if I do this right, it's up here. Uh, then it's all the way round and down. Then it's down to this one. It then gets picked up by here. Up to the top. Into the hole it goes. And we now get an ordinary key. Okay, now the ordinary key has got to go somewhere. So let's have a look. We go a bit further around the box. Uh, we now get this, which is shown up. Uh, which is quite nice. Uh, now, where does... That's got to go... In there. That comes over, and we now get a little socket that's been uh, revealed. Um, this key, I think, belongs in here. Yep. And now we come to the guessing game of how many times... Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three... So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, all the way around, all the way around. Okay, unlocked. A small square peg. Okay, and I think the photo can go in here now. Yes, it can. Now, based on the previous chapter, we're going to put the eyepiece on straight away and see if this reveals anything in particular. It does we go through to a weird house? And Sigil has been revealed, which is now on the photograph. And that weird little sockety square thing goes into there. And we can now spell out the word Sigil. So that's going to be spelled out in here. Sigil. You then get a bright blue crystal emanating a strange light and another letter. July 29th. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of the null element, I fashioned lenses from it. To wear one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure, and I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. So he's now starting to experience problems by using uh, this uh, weird lens. Now, that blue crystal is going to belong into this socket over here. And it goes. Lovely. And that's a very bright light, but we're going to condense that all the way down as much as we can. And now we are going to reveal a tiny weighted flywheel. Now that flywheel has got to belong down here, into the socket it goes, out your pop. So we have some sort of device for reflecting light, and if we click the box there, we also reveal a hexagonal piece of map. Now that piece of map belongs on this globe, so we'll put that in place first, 
and we now reveal a brass winding handle with a square pin. And that is going to go... Where do you go? You go here, right? Yes. Okay then. So we're going to turn all that round. Lovely. And we reveal an intricate wooden box. Okay, we're going to then put this light reflecting thing inside the box. All lights are lighting up now. This is one of my favourite levels for one very good reason, which we're going to see in a little sec. I don't want to spoil it. If you, I mean, there's going to be people that have already played this game. I've played this, I've played this game time and time again, which is why I love it so much. Um, however, there's a particular cool bit which looks amazing in PC, which will be coming up once we get the other reflective uh, light box that we put in initially. And we get another piece of the globe. So we get Tibet. Uh, so we're going to put that there. Turn another piece of that jigsaw around. Uh, this box, I think, can be manipulated. Excellent. And that now belongs into that gap there. Which is all very nice. And that now reveals a telescope. Inside it, nothing. Just etched markings. Okay. Uh, so instead, we're going to put that key there. And again, we're going to put all our options available out so we know what's going to be put where. So that's going to go there. Uh, I think that goes there, I think. That comes round, and I don't think we need the other pieces. So that's going to be hidden. Oh, it doesn't fit. Okay. If I got that the right wrong way around, then. So that's going to go up there. Ah, I, th I think this might be a combination of keys, then. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so I did a silly there. That goes there. That must now fit. Nope, doesn't fit still. So we've got an error somewhere. Oh, uh, like that? Surely that's right now. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we now have the other piece, piece, piece of reflecting uh, device. This is coming up now to the bit where this game looks absolutely sensational. So you can see now there's nothing in here at the moment, but if we do this, Here we go. This is one of the best bits of this game coming up. Oh, just that. Just revealing the constellations. Absolutely sensational. An oddly shaped piece of the map has been revealed. I think this might be the last piece. Oh no, there's one more piece to go. We've got, we've got another square piece yet to find. Um, so what haven't I done yet? Uh, oh, it's the telescope. What we looked at before, we couldn't see anything. We can now see what stars are going to be selected in the constellation. So if we now go... to here. Uh, was it this way round? There we go. I don't know the way around. Okay, we now get the square piece and another letter from A.S. The sucker will write all along 
How can I have been so blind? I've discovered a passage in the Scriptus Noctai, an incantation lacking the energy source to drive it. Well, I have such a source. This night I summon Astaroth, whom the Babylonians called Ishtar, Prince of Accusers and Inquisitors, and he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null element can be mine. I could barely contain myself. There is so much to prepare. Okay. So he's coming up close, he thinks, to all power. Flick the switch. And the room, or this table, gets bigger. I love how they all just like seamlessly like, comes together. That for me is super nice. Chapter complete. Pleasing progress, but do you really think you've proven yourself yet? We're going to carry on. So now we come to the next chapter in this uh, game. And I forget now where we start. I think we have to put the eyepiece on potentially. That's not doing anything yet. Uh, I think we might be starting here. Ah, yes, there we go. So we get a brass winding handle now. And the last letter, 7 of 7. August 15th. Something is wrong. I followed the incantation to the very letter. Astaroth did not appear. There are no answers to be had. More questions. The visions have increased. They gather to me. And I cannot stay in one place for long. I try to monitor them, but the lens hurts my eyes. I have mixed a solution for the pain. For those that follow and find this journal, I lack the power to describe this. There is no concept within the human sphere with which to explain it. The house is so much larger now. There are rooms everywhere. So this guy looking for, you know, all all sense of power. Let's turn that all the way round. And the same uh, Latin is displayed. Gonna click the button. And it stopped on a dagger. Um, you notice this big screen's popped up, so we're gonna have a little look uh, inside. And the dagger is on show there. Gonna turn that round, line it up with that. Yes. And the dagger has now revealed itself. We're now going to go into the center console of this table, put the dagger inside. And we reveal, I think, what looks like the solar system. And that has now, this keypad has now revealed itself. So we're now going to... I think we can recheck this now? Not yet. Okay. Ah, there we go. So on the table there, we've got this pattern going from top left to bottom right. Let's put that into the keypad. Check it. All blue, which means it's all correct. If it, were, if, if, if it goes red at any time, it means that it's an incorrect match. The cog up here now is spinning again. Let's click the switch. And it now looks like an eye. You can see now that... The solar system is now spinning, um, which I think now we can come over here. So you can see now that that's the solar system there that's all spinning around. This next pattern here looks like a Y, so let's put that into the keypad as well. Hit the button, all correct. And that now brings that to a stop. And we can line it up there. Yep, also correct. And we now get the all-seeing eye, a large gold amulet. 
Uh, that must have a place in the table, which I think is over here. Yep, put that in there. And now the table rearranges itself once more. We lose the solar system, and up comes the table as it was before. You can now see at the top of the screen these little blue arrows dotted around, which when we hover over, go back over to the panel, you can now see a stuff of pattern. So we see a two at the bottom, one a little bit of the way up. And if we go here, we should be able to turn the table one more time. One. So let's say two, one. The second one from the top must be two. So let's put that in. So two, one, two, one. All correct again. And up comes the pictures in the journal have now been revealed. That is the null element. So the energy source harnessing the null element has been revealed. We turn the table one more time. And we now get this strange symbol that we've seen throughout this game. Let's go back inside the panel. Double click and we now go inside the very frame at which we were looking at before. So this is now a weird, another weird little room. Um, so that can turn. Let's have a look around the whole thing. This bottom bit can't turn. So let's marry up this to that. All are now aligned. And I think now we can populate that energy source containing the null into the center console. The null element retracts itself. Revealing the light and a doorway of which we can go through. Now, when this game was first released, this was the end of the game. It stopped here. When an update came out, we now go into the epilogue of the room. Here we go. This is the last part of this game. Where on earth am I? Okay, another letter from AS. A queer sense of movement, not quite turning, not quite falling. I felt myself cross the threshold and the visions abated. Perhaps they only serve to drive me to this place. The route back closes behind me, but a way forward opens ahead. Something is drawing me on. In case you are with me, I will try to guide you along the path. I pray you never came. I pray you are just another of my dreams. So we've got AS's signature at the bottom there, we also have this keypad with keyboard at the top with an X at that key and an X at that key. So that might come into play a little bit later on. We also see a picture of someone sketching out the null element. So as before, we're going to put our lens on and see what comes up. And this handprint has already appeared. I'm going to turn it round. That then ups itself. We now have a small gear. Uh, now, I forget where the small key goes. Or the small gear goes. Anyway, that's going to go down, and we then get these uh, symbols pop up. Um, okay, where are you going to go? Oh, there's another switch here which you can pull. Gear goes into there. Phenomenal. Okay. And that's a case of, I think, turning all these blue. So that's one. And then we do the same with number two. Um, so that's going to go like that. Up you go. Lovely. That then reveals... Or this little container here and we now get a metal orb now just look I th this is just a great way here if we just stop and pause for a sec this is look how nice that orb looks I, I would have that in real life if that was an actual thing so we're going to just turn it all the way around 
until it stops into place there. Press the button, raise that roof up. And we now get another small gear. This time it's a square. We can put that in the same place that we put our triangular cog, which goes into there. Press the button. We now get a drawer, which you can pull out. And we now get a strangely shaped key. Okay, so we now continue on to try and find the key. And now the machine starts turning. So we can move this key around to the left or to the right. We can put the switch down. And we can see that a little object there just flew across the screen. That is a metal plate underneath there. We just need to put the cog back into that right hand position P press the switch that puts that little uh, guard down and we can then grab the other key from there now this key belongs into this compartment here which you can turn and let's put that other key in place while we are at it which belongs over here. We'll double click on that. And out comes the piano and I think there was a key there and a key there. Now it's asking for a coin which we currently don't have. Um, so let's just go around the box again. So the right hand side is this weird teardrop symbol there and that symbol over here is that symbol there now I think if we put that into the up position we now have to put the symbols into the right ah no so these are the actual symbols these don't move I see so, we put that into the left hand position, and it's two C's. Which is that one, and we'll just do the same for the right hand position, because I completely forgot what that was. Uh, that is just the four teardrop looking things. So, right hand. Back round we go, and we're going to put the four teardrop symbols on. Put the key back into the up position. One, two. Okay. We can then start to turn this round to reveal some numbers. There's a 5, there's a 7, there's a 3. So the code at the top then is 573. Let's just do that quickly now. 5, 7, 3. Okay. Uh, there's a weird glow on it, so we'll just put our lens on. Okay, we've got four squares there to put into uh, place, but there's no way currently to turn anything round on it. We haven't got that far yet. Um, so, what have I missed? I think it's finding out what these symbols belong to, which I think 
is on this part of the box here. So number one is a weird triangle, number two is a weird swirl, and number three is a weird looking S. So let's put that into place. Three was the weird S, two was the weird squircle, one was the triangle, and out comes the coin, which you can see there. Now the coin is going to fit into this piano system over here. Press the button. I'm going to repeat what this piano does to us. There we go. The piano then plays back the three sections that we just repeated back to it. And I think now comes the two handles that we need to rotate the next part of the box. That's going to shut up shop. We're going to then go back up here. One metal handle in there, one metal handle in there. And we can now start to fill up, put these squares into their position. Okay. So, turn that round, see if it's that one, yep, and then we just need to adjust this round, so that's going to go, I think, that way, so when we do that, that should be in the right place, yes it is, the square then moves itself around. And we then get a red gem in a metal plate. That part of the box then goes back inside. And we then get two more parts of the puzzle. So let's first of all put this uh, red gem inside. Okay, so let's rescue uh, these first because I think this is part of the next puzzle. So we'll just rescue all these quickly from here. Uh, so that's going to go up there. That's the top and round. That's going to go down. Uh, that's going to go up. You're going to go up there. We'll release you. We've got the green gem now. And then we just need to release uh, this next gem. That's going to go there. With all these out of the way. Uh, yep, you need to go there. Okay. So then um, we're going to put these gems in any random order. So we're going to put that there. And I can remove them again if I need to. That there. That there. We're then looking for this symbol over here. So we're not quite there with that just yet. So likely there's going to be a bit of switching around to do. Let's try it that way. And again, we're not quite there just yet. So we might need to completely reset some of these. Green there, yellow there. Nope, still no go. Um, green, blue, yellow. That's not it either, is it? No. Um, okay. This is a bit of just me aimlessly putting in gems where I think they should go. No. I also refuse to use hints in this game because as soon as you use hints, uh, the m it's not like the magic goes completely, uh, but it just... Um, it makes the game go a bit quicker. However, I also don't know if there's a, a pattern that I'm missing. Um, I might be missing a, a really obvious pattern. I think that might be it. 
There it is. That's it. And now the box is going to open up for us. Let's open it all the way. And this is, I think, this might be the last, one of the last puzzles of this game. Okay, so let's press the button. I think we've got to get this blue gem uh, all the way to the center. Uh, so that's going to go round, I think. Yes. Inside the blue gem goes. And the blue light appears. Um, so let's put our piece on. Where are you going? Ah, there. Okay. That's all lined up. And now we get another blue gem to put into position. So the process then starts again. Goes there. Go in this one. Yes, I think it does. Inside the next blue gem goes. Okay. Uh, that's going to be lining up with something in a second. Where are you? There you are. Right, so we're now going to just turn that round so that it marries up with that piece of the puzzle there. All married up. Another door, but our eyepiece has now been completely broken. Game complete. You made it through. Unflustered, I hope, as there will surely be sterner tests to come. You have taken the first step on a longer journey. I see no benefit in hiding the truth of your predicament. There is no way back. Not for any of us. For now, you are as trapped as I. Press forward with heart, my friend. There are many more rooms ahead. So that concludes the room, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you've enjoyed uh, this first live stream uh, walkthrough of the room. Tomorrow, I'll be back to play another episode, or to play the next game in uh, the series called The Room 2 as we count down the days to The Room VR appearing on Oculus, on HTC and on Steam in four days time. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Uh, if you wanted to give me a follow on Mixer that would be sensational and I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs>